Hi YouTube, what's up guys? It's really getting cold outside so uh, I'm really enjoying my gourmands and I decided to do a top uh, 15 list of gourmand fragrances. I was thinking to separate the niche and designer but in the end I decided to combine them and that's why not only 5 or only 10 but 15 because they are quite a few great gourmands out there on the market and I think um, uh, I really really enjoy gourmands and uh, they kind of you know they are completely uh, satisfying my taste in fragrances and I enjoy every single one of them uh, as I already said I decided to combine uh, designers niche and exclusive line uh, just to make it clear, those fragrances that only smell sweet or have only one ingredient that reminds you of, of food such as uh, vanilla in Le Mal or uh, cocoa in Dior Homme Intense or cocoa in uh, Guerlain uh, Homme Extreme, the Guerlain Pour Homme Extreme, I kind of don't think they are gourmand, they just, uh, they just smell sweet but I eliminated them from the list. In order to make it to the list, fragrances uh, had to be really edible, you know, had that foodie vibe, smell really, really edible, and most of them, actually all of them are very sweet. So, yeah, let's start with the list. Number 15 is Givenchy Pie, uh, strawberry almonds mixed with vanilla and uh, good longevity, 8 hours, I wish it projected a bit better, but it's decent and it's very, very smooth and creamy. And number 14 is Kriegler Established Cognac. It smells basically like those chocolate uh, candies uh, filled with uh, whiskey. That's basically what I get out of it. Uh, performance is not so good. I get like 6 hours of longevity. It projects for first hour or so, then it definitely dies and becomes very close to the skin. But it does smell great and uh, I just wish it projected better. Uh, number 13 is Lolita Au Masculine. I did a recently review about this one, licorice and it's bomb. It reminds me of those licorice candies and then you get some rum and vanilla prolina too. Last project, it's quite romantic and sexy, smells great. Number 12 is for Palm 1270. One of the best fragrances I've ever smelled, but it's a poor performance, puts it on number 12. It really has a very, very poor performance of, on me. If this one projected any better, it would be much, much higher. It smells great. Dried fruits, honey, cocoa, vanilla, rum, very boozy, smooth. Uh, imagine a sophistic more sophisticated version of pure malt. That is 1270, but... Uh, it just doesn't project on me, not even for an hour, and I wish it did. Number uh, 12 is Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene, and this one is very unique. It opens up fresh with lemon, but uh, that um, lemon is candied and very, sh very sugary-like. It actually, it, and there is that unique waffle cone note, and it's definitely noticeable. And, well, actually, this one smells like vanilla, um, no, not vanilla. Yes, vanilla uh, uh, ice cream with some lemony, sugary uh, topping uh, dripping over a sweet, fresh waffle cone. This one smells like that. It lasts a long, long time, at least 12 hours, but it really doesn't project on me. I wish it just had a better projection. I really expect of my gourmands to have, you know, a better projection because those are in, uh, nodes that usually do project. Uh, number 10 is Terry Mugle Malt. Uh, like Boozier, Amen, and you already know everything about it. Whiskey, uh, fruits, uh, malt, what else? Um, typical cocoa, caramel, Amen dry down uh, with this one. Very, very good, uh, but uh, I have a few favorites from Amen line which uh, rank a bit higher than this one, although I love pure malt. Number eight, uh, number nine is Montal fragrance and it is chocolate greedy. Very dark chocolate, uh, kind of dusty, uh, opens up with um, oranges which uh, mix up with chocolate, cocoa and some vanilla. It smells like uh, 
chocolate dough for cookies and uh, this one is a monster it lasts like 20 hours on me it projects uh, for like a monster this one is just great I love it number not eight I'm sorry number eight is when she play intense and this one I was kind of on the edge with this one but it made it to the list it has that coffee vibe cotton candy vibe similar like uh, like Rojas man but I definitely prefer play intense it's one of my favorite designers I uh, personally can't pull it off it's a bit too masculine for me but uh, I love it on men it's great uh, one it projects it lasts it's just yummy Number seven is Thierry Mugler Amen, the original Amen. You know, if you can pass that harsh, greenish, strong opening, uh, it dries down into wonderful cocoa, milky caramel, uh, dry down. Uh, it lasts, it projects like a monster. It uh, it makes a statement. It's very bold, uh, sexy, and just wonderful. Number six is an Overlook Guerlain fragrance and it is Gourmand Cocon. It is actually more for women but I think a brave man can pull this one off. It, uh, def it, it is all about chocolate and rum with hints of uh, rose spices and just a bit of vanilla. But it's all uh, basically about rum and chocolate, like a more sophisticated version of chocolate greedy I would say. It's smoother, less sharp, uh, it does less, some complain about its longevity, it lasts like 12 hours on me, it does leave a decent scent trail, people are able to smell you, it's wonderful, very very sophisticated chocolate fragrance. Number five is Terry Mugler Pure Hawan, my favorite from Amen line. You know everything about this one too. I recently did a review. Cherry wipe, tobacco, honey, vanilla, last like 16 hours on me, projects like crazy. I think I can successfully pull this one out, but love to, would love to smell it on man. It's a, it is just great. I love this one. Uh, number four is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. It starts a bit harsh and you would say it won't actually be your gourmand because tobacco is quite heavy and harsh but it soon, uh, very quickly, it settles down and it kind of, uh, tobacco goes in the background and dried fruit, honey and vanilla step out and it definitely, uh, this is in the dry down is where the fragrance is definitely gourmand and Last projects is very very interesting, bold and daring. Wa a wonderful wonderful gourmand. Number four, um, number three is Guerlain's Petit Double Vanille, the best vanilla fragrance ever made in my opinion. Um, boozy vanilla, not really complex, quite simple, but definitely vanilla done in the best way possible. I love this one. Uh, also marked for uh, women but would love to smell it on men for sure. Number two is my all time favorite Guerlain Tonka Imperial and I'm sure some of you are wondering yeah my all time favorite but only number two what's it with that? Well I think it is gourmand, it is very classic gourmand smooth uh, Tonka with a bit of uh, tobacco vanilla very rich uh, smell, you know, it's just elegant and sophisticated but also I think one uh, fragrance has a m uh, uh, has a more pronounced foodie vibe and that's why it made it to number one on this list and it is a mess Ambre Energie some say apple pie, yes I can see that but much more than apple pie you get that boozy apple pie, warm apple pie vibe with lots of cinnamon very smooth amber in the dry down definitely very sweet but it's much more, it's complex and it is. it, it smells wonderful uh, marked as unisex, I definitely agree with that one it's right there in the middle, equally great for men, equally great for uh, women lasts like 12 hours on me, projects like a beast and this is everything I look for in my gourmand, it's so wonderful uh, please guys let me know what you think about gourmands, what, what are your favorites thank you for watching, please comment down below, rate, subscribe and see you soon with another video, bye YouTube